Along those same lines, Rush Limbaugh, a couple of days ago on his show, this is, this, is the, this is why sometimes you find it so hard to have a reasonable conversation with your crazy brother-in-law, uh, excuse me, brother-in-law over Thanksgiving dinner and, uh, uh, you know, about economics or politics is because you've got these media pundits like Rush Limbaugh going off on stuff that just simply ain't so. I mean, it's like, it's like having cult members try to convince you that humans came from the planet Xenu, and someday when we're all clear, the spaceships are going to show up and take us all back, which seems to work for some movie stars, but not most people, I think. So anyhow, here's Limbaugh. He says, uh, uh, he quotes, first of all, he quotes a New York Times article by Ann Lowry. And uh, quotes the article as saying, President Obama says prosperity does not trickle down and that a rising tide does not lift all boats. The conservative policies predicated on those ideas, Obama maintains, amount to a you're-on-your-own economics where the country really, when the country really needs a we're-in-this-together approach. So then comes Limbaugh commenting on it. In short, what Obama is going to say in these speeches, he says... President is going to say, and I'm, I'm, there's a few ellipses in here. I'm, the, the whole thing is rather long, but the president, I'm not taking out anything that I think changes the context of this. The president is going to say that prosperity comes from the middle out rather than the top down. And then Limbaugh makes this astounding comment. Never mind that this has never, not once, worked. It has never succeeded, this formula. The middle class leading the economic rebound. It's not possible. The middle class benefits from it, but an economic recovery is not caused by the middle class. An economic expansion is not caused by the middle class. The middle class, by and large, are consumers, says Limbaugh. So what causes that economic expansion? If it's not people getting decent paychecks and then going to the store with those decent paychecks and buying things so that the stores then have to buy those things from their wholesalers, so the wholesalers have to buy them from the manufacturers, and the manufacturers have to hire people to make them so that those people go to work making things and they get a decent paycheck and then they go to the store and buy. You know, I mean, this is called the virtuous cycle. This is something that Adam Smith wrote about in Wealth of Nations in 1776. It has stood as economic theory. Demand drives economy. It has stood as economic theory without challenge from 1776 until 1982 when Ronald Reagan had dinner with, with, with a couple of wackadoodles and one of them pulled out a napkin or it was sitting on the table and he drew, you know, Art Laffer, he drew this curve. And suddenly we had supply-side economics. Ronnie Way, Reagan, you know kind of on the road to Alzheimer's dementia, looks at that and goes, oh, that makes sense. Rich people make us rich. Or rich people create the middle class. Forgetting that if the middle class doesn't work and doesn't buy things, rich people don't exist. But here's what Limbaugh has to say about it. In order for the middle class to consume to the level that economic growth takes place, they must be paid a lot of money. And in order for that to happen, the businesses where they work must grow. The places where they are employed must do well. They must be making more. They must have more customers than they're servicing. Whatever the enterprise is, it has to grow so the people working there earn more, get raises, get more benefits, and so that new people get hired. This idea that the economy bubbles up from below is absurd. So, in Limbonomics... When businesses grow magically, because rich people decide to make them grow. When businesses grow, when businesses do well, right? in order for that to happen, the businesses they work for must grow. The places they are employed must do well. They must be making more. They must have more customers they're serving. Whatever the enterprise is, it has to grow. So when rich people and businesses are doing well, then, Limbaugh says, in order for the middle class to consume to that level of econo uh, to, the, to the level that economic growth takes place, they must be paid a lot of money. So therefore, when the businesses do well, they pay their workers well, says Limbaugh. 
Well, up until 1980, businesses did pay their workers well. We had unions that forced them to, basically. But now, you know, since Reaganomics, not so much. The income of working people in this country since Ronald Reagan came into office has actually fallen. The income of the CEOs and the investor class, the Mitt Romneys of the world, the Donald Trumps of the world, it's up over 275%. If you look at the top 100th of 1%, it's up you know, over 1,000%. So, no. I mean, businesses are doing really well right now. The corporate profits right now, last quarter, were higher than they have been in the United States in over 50 years. CEO pay is higher than it has been since the 19th century. And we really didn't keep good numbers back then. It might be higher than it's ever been in the history of America. Investors are making more money than ever. Look at the stock market. Is any of that translating into higher wages like Limbaugh says? No. No.